So, uh, I'd like to welcome you guys again to E7. Joining me on the, this continuation is Priestess of Neptune. Hi, Priestess. Hello. Yep, I'm here. And uh, last time what we covered was uh, the Wind Dragon. So, we got three of the five Dragon Seals already unlocked. We still got two to go. One place we can't go to, and the other... Well, we have no idea where that Dragon Shrine is. Half the fun is in finding things, right? Yeah, but this time we have to see to someone who uh, <laughs> knows where to find, uh, or at least has a clue. Though so I don't think I have anything new on the synthesis bracket, so... Let's see... Seal of the Moon, huh? Okay. I don't know. I think seals would be of the sea, personally, but I guess everyone has their favorite creatures. Mm -hmm. uh, warranty of warranty is void if seal is broken, huh? That was horrible. <laughs> I, I've seen that joke so far before. Okay. Okay. Also, that cat was, like, floating over the ground before. Kind of funny. I don't... Yeah, when I played this for the first time on the PSP, I didn't really notice things as much, but then again, it's a small screen. Uh, long story short, what happened in the Sanctums was that <laughs> the dragons gave us really obtuse stuff and didn't help us at all. I mean, they're dragons. Why would they? Right. They just told us, you're doomed, just do your best. Typical dragon behavior. Yeah, unfortunately the Moon Tribe uh, was uh, kicked out by the Sea Tribe, and uh, they're here in a pocket of space, so we have no oh, idea- Oh, so we do have Sea Seals, then. <laughs> I wish. Perfect. Also, I like how we have to collect them all. It's an original approach, I think, to solving problems. Mm-hmm. Can we summon Shenron once we collect them all? It's awful! Just awful! Ugh. I did not have to hear that line until DuckTales eight years later. <laughs> uh. But this is where poop has hit the fan. Typical. I mean, don't blame the dice, but still. I'm glad to see the dice back. Mm -hmm. so, good work, dice. Keep doing your thing. This is dire. Well, we know how to fast travel to the city, so... Yeah. I like how you have to do it because there's a risk of getting uh, imprisoned or whatever. Yeah. Like, that seems like such backwards logic. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, then again, we kind of ran into this trouble because Adol was uh, accused of assassinating the king. I mean... Come on, every murder hobo can be accused of that. Oh, 
like, if you're a king, you should just expect to be assassinated, right? I'm pretty sure that's what happens in every single media. Yeah, the thing is, though, um... Yeah, he was assassinated on his own bed. It's like, earlier, like, before Adel and company left for Ruins Island, I kind of brought up the issue of going, Wait a minute, where was the guard in all of that? It's like, there were... It's like, before you met the king, before you left for Ruins Island, there was a guy guarding the door. Now there wasn't. And guess up. Guess what? He ends up dead. I mean, if you're watching the king while he sleeps, I would probably kill you too. Like, that's creepy. Mm hmm. But I don't know. Actually, um, I think the French king was right. Uh, back in the 1500s, uh, they actually had people watch them um, use the restroom. Let's go. And like, you know, dress and everything, like everything they did, people watched them do. I'm creepy. Out of the way. Anyway. Well. It's, it's not like the king falling in battle for whatever reason. Who else has the blue jewel? Mm, let's give that to her. Eh, that looks good. Well, let's just see how dire things have become. Warning, I'm hanging out with a friend tonight, so I might have to leave at some point. That's okay. Well, um, this fog's getting more eerie. I think as long as you don't get teleported back to where you came from, because of the fog, you'll be okay. We had many RPGs where we just get lost in the fog all the time, and what the hell happened here? I think their uh, 3D modeling budget fell apart. Literally. <sighs> no, I take it. I take it back. That was horrible. Oh, also, do you remember from uh, Dot Hat? There was a character named Elk? No, I haven't. I don't think I've played anything from that series. Okay, I think Elk was one of the friends of um, uh, Rose and um, other dude, Kite. Huh. Anyway. I think at the very end of Dot Sign, you see Elk when everybody's meeting up in the tavern. I think. Anyway. Anyway, this is kind of bleak and dire. say that John Cordova is like the most halfway hearted name. It's like they tried to make it a protagonist name. They <laughs> gave up halfway through. Dragon Knights try to stop a man in black. Huh. Were you here uh, for the ending of uh, last episode or no? I 
think I was busy. I'm sorry. Yeah, post Wind Dragon, uh, there was someone in a black and white robe that were talking to each other in rather eerie voices. I'm guessing that's who the person in black was. And for all the residents of the town, that doesn't seem like, like all of them are in the tavern. Oh boy. Ooh. Uh oh. I like how all of a sudden in the cutscene you're suddenly wearing your gear. You didn't have it before. Those are some low-res pots of water. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and I didn't bother to try looking for a high-res pack. Like I said, this was a handheld installment. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny, like the huge difference in resolution between everything. Mm -hmm. Like all the sprites are like the lowest possible. The backgrounds are meh. And the character models are like the best thing. So weird. Oh boy. Now I gotta scrub the rest of the town, but ooh. Yeah. Iskin fever causes a bunch of rather hard symptoms and ultimately petrification. Yup. You know, on the bright side, if they're slowly being petrified, they're also slowly gaining immunity to attacks and crits. So they've got that going for them. House. Oh boy. Just how much shit has hit the fan tonight? Okay. Okay, cool. We got new weapons. Thank you. I need something for offense. Defense, I would definitely like more defense. There's probably some other cool stuff I could probably synthesize too. Nah, it doesn't look like the case yet. Right. 
Thank you for the new stuff. Item shop still open too. Yeah, we got new things in stock too. It's uh, it's a miracle you come back after all that disaster. Bunch of strig extracts too. That that'll help a lot. I'm pretty much maxed out at that. Just that's collapsed too. Alright, I'm gonna head out here, but I'll leave it on in the background for All right. a bit. Alright, thanks for coming. Yep, later. <sighs> now the whole world's falling apart and you're just concerned about a redhead and a blue hair in front of your house. Come on. That's a lot of damage. That's a frightening amount of damage, too. they are, but... Stable house is better than any other house. I can't even see anything in that fog, not even some damaged chips.
Sounds nice. Airy seal, ooh. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of dough after that. Oh, well, I can have more than one mirror. Huh. Ah. Losing ten years of your life. What doesn't make you lose ten years of your life? Yeah, your entire stock's not gonna matter squat if <laughs> your customer base is dead. damage. Everyone's dead except for you. <sighs> well, sometimes cowards do survive, but... Ugh. No one here. Guys, do you happen to know anything? <sighs> oh no. Oh, 
Well, Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's not even fair. Does he even have that power? Although, to be fair, I don't have all five of the dragon's powers. Well, hope is a double-edged sword. Didn't think they'd put it to this extreme. What's worse, uh, Dogie's thought of all of this, or Luke fighting out Darth Vader as his father? Even though in Luke's case he had one hand chopped off and was hanging onto a pillar that whole time, but god fucking damn.
This is the sort of shit that really broke my nuts when I was 16 playing this. No, Dogie. It's like someone uh, stabbed a pen into your chest. It's not really so much a pen in my chest, it's more like a bloody chef's knife. No. Uh, a pair of weapons grade scissors. Me neither, Aldris. <sighs> Me neither. Well, you put up a better fight against your own brother six months ago. I mean, why not? We got the stones, we got the seals. Besides, <sighs> a ways off east where he stopped another major disaster. I mean, he's weathered a storm, a rewrite of the world, about three other grand disasters. Actually, at least one rewrite of the world.
We have no choice. I wouldn't really call it luck, but... We are stretched then. Everything in disarray as it is. <sighs> what happened to the thing I gave her? No going into the king's room this time. Downward spiral begins. At least she's alive. <sighs> Jeez, it's gonna take eons to rebuild. Peace is not getting stabbed, uh, or at least launched at, or, I don't know, impaled by it. <sighs> huh. Well, like I said earlier, you lived. Everything is turned to shit, hits the fan dire.
Yep. What was it? Scars heal, wounds don't. Stop being an inconsiderate dumbass. Fucking punk. I got nothing. Okay. Yeah, no really. Should have just rather than at gunpoint. Other than being utterly shocked, you don't have to say anything else. At least one guy held the line. Gotta do a little inventory check and uh, do a little touring around after this entire shit show. Let's do an edit. 
inventory check. We're gonna have to get into ruin sign with the best we can, and Everything for an aggravated assault, huh? Wait, what? I already had that? Oh. relief, but... Definitely more defense. I absolutely need that. use that one. Got that one already. I mean, all of these are just Sweet offensive perks. I already have those uh, skills, so uh, we'll wait until we get a dump truck of money. Meanwhile, okay, it's definitely an end game thing, and okay, Waspinator. Let's get a luck metal. This one, let's get the that's the perk that gives you a dump truck of more money. Check. It's two, 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 one, one. I didn't master that yet. Oh, no wonder. that there. Can't believe I didn't master that at all. Idiot. Right. Well, that's as much defense as I can afford, so...
Everything else here seems to be doable, but... As much as uh, the Prime Minister was a complete jerk, I wouldn't wish death upon him. Well, I'm not going to talk to everyone, just a little sampling, but definitely everyone's acknowledging matters are worse. I don't want to know what she did. I still haven't done number 20 yet? Huh. Oh right, because I, I got clowned. I better start doing that before I even wrap up Ruins Island. We still got two more sanctums to visit. Let's see if we can try to take out that thing real quick. Either that or we have to come back after Rowan's Island or when we hit the end of it. Yeah. 
I should have used the Shara for this one. there. The reason I really didn't use Mashera for this is because she's made of glass. <sighs> but... <laughs> as this fight went craptastically... Worth it.
Well, you're gonna need it if you don't want to get shot up by the Falcon. Whoops, didn't want to use that, but anyway. Or get some extra healing items, or. Well, we'll see when we get there. Door being blocked. Anyway, we might as well just commit to the Sea Sanctum. Not the iron cutter. We have the best stuff money can buy. And I think uh, we're topped off at synthesis. At synthesis, so. supposed to get on the boat now? Oh, there's a little one over here. We're ready as we can be.
sure it came in smoothly, but not smooth enough. Okay. Alright, so things are cool again. Oh yeah, before that. <laughs> and this one little skill, I don't know why I didn't deal with it. Tornado Slash is so fun sometimes. Anyway, assuming we don't have to go through the entire dungeon again. Didn't make it to the Sea Sanctum in quite a short time. Ow. That being said, I'm kind of prepared for this episode to be quite long. Yeah. Sanctums themselves usually take about two hours, and we've already run up the 75 minute count at this point. Or 76. An effective anti-bug solution. Oh, Natalie's. Ugh. So, oh, damn, I thought there were instances in here. Hang on, I'll be back in a sec.
Za za mną. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for joining me, Matt. Yeah, my pleasure. So, what you missed in the last 80 minutes was, uh, you ever have that moment in RPGs when, you know, your two best friends or your best friend in the entire game just straight up stabs you in the chest? Oh, yes. That happened. And I'd like to welcome you guys who are just joining us. Uh, we are on the far side of Ruins Island. And, uh, yeah, we got clowned by, uh, a guy in a black robe who turned out to be, uh, the Falcon. Fun. Another reason for someone to say, I hate Falcons. <laughs> yeah. Falcon! Do a loop-de-loop, -loop, a barrel roll, scratch that, a reverse barrel roll, then back to the glove. And then, sh sh sha And then the Falcon just ends up stabbing your eyes out. That's how bleak this whole and this whole ordeal has been. And the thing about it, it's like, uh, what other what other RPGs uh, have you probably played, or any other game for that matter, when you know your best friend in the entire game just straight up uh, stabs you in the back, hmm. or, or commits an act hmm. so heinous that you're just going. God, I can't believe you've fucking done that. Definitely not Link. Mm. Uh. Cool, another street extract. Nothing of the sort really happened in Knights of the Old Republic, uh... Eh? Hey. Yeah. Is that the first thing? Oh wait, what? Was that like a force field sort of thing that Yeah. All you have to do is nope. just uh, push a button and uh, ta-da! Otherwise, you get hurt trying to pass through it. Yeah. All right. 
so I'm gonna so I up the music a little bit. Now. a better sword now. Let's use this one. I kind of need more piercing anyway then. Be surprised if I need something else. Man, that has a long wind up time. Ow. I really do like this dungeon, it has quite the field for it, and uh, for this to be an abandoned island, it's definitely not a an island touristy theme, and it's definitely not going to have that kind of sort of Star Tropics feel when, you know, you're in a cave in an island, but, it makes you want to stare out into the ocean. skill get. Come on. Come a little closer, please. Fine. I'll just shoot you then. <laughs> More fossilized twigs. I feel like this is all to make a new bow with an extra capability. Of course, uh, she's got two skills left. I know, given that what I've found in the other dungeon dragons so far, <laughs> no, the other sanctums, each venue has had at least one unique weapon for at least uh, a standing el elder uh, representative of the tribe, well, of each tribe. Kind of stands to reason there's probably one more bow here with another trick I have to learn. I'm definitely going to need some anti-skid boots. Perfect for anti-air. Help me gather this wood first, and then we can get to killing uh, whatever this uh, giant armored thing is. Okay, now I'm extract. Okay, five plus a thousand. Good. Mainly, I shouldn't be doing all of this. Uh, Ice traversing. There's definitely an item in this dungeon that'll help uh, alleviate that a bit. Yeah, I don't like uh, I don't like this big wind-up punch. Stick with something else. Uh, roundhouse kick. That's another good one. <laughs> Isn't that Chuck Norris's signature mode? Should be. <laughs> ah. Was it he who made up that entire stupid roadhouse stick, or did Family Guy just make that and run away with it? I'm, I'm legitimately wondering. 
Ow. Someone just made up the junk and attributed it to him. Ooh, spiritual water. Definitely gonna need that to heal a lot. More sea stones. And knowing my luck, I think uh, we're gonna need stones from the other sanctums. Oh, I do so hate this part. When you have, when you're forced to climb up without a, an inch of traction. Bad, but could add better. Moral incense. Cool. Well, this being a water dungeon by default, we are going to need a lot of water. I think uh, the one thing I'll be grateful for uh, in this sanctum is that. Uh, the midpoint in this actually seems pretty healthy. <laughs> Dragon energy drop. I don't really use those because uh, they don't really recover EP like they're supposed to. They only recover SP and oh my oof. Before we even tackle that maze. I know this episode by default was going to take two hours. I was very aware of that. But well, actually this dungeon is didn't I just get in here like 90 minutes ago and uh, no wait, the stream's been running for 90 minutes. I started this uh, at the 80 minute mark so yeah everyone don't fall please. Yeah I'm gonna need to traverse that big maze! <laughs> Hi Billy Maze here and I'm gonna show you a big confusing maze. That was a bet. In peace. Yeah, what really pissed me off about that was uh, he and I forgot who the other uh, uh, larger than life advertisement uh, guy was. It was I think it was Anthony something, and both of them were on the Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien. I think it was in 08 or 09, the week after Billy Mays died. After. A week after that, a week after they went on. Shocking, I know. Right. I think a handful of viewers, uh, when we were, when I was catching up on it on Hulu. Uh, Remember, a lot of reviews of that episode were like, Dude, what? Like, Conan, what the hell? It's like, how do you not <laughs> say anything about the fact that, you know, Billy Mays died on your show a week after coming on? That's comments Danny, for you. Uh, Danny, like, over just... Did he overdose on crack or something? Yeah, I think it was an OD. I believe that's what I heard. Ooh, a new robe. The Dalmatica. Hmm. So, uh, she'll need this. Where is that, uh, burger slider ad that you did? Ah. Uh, I think it was, Billy May. Yeah, I wouldn't happen to know about that. Well, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, please do that. Now, that's a strong current. What do I need? The iron boots? Holy man. Ah, 
floodgates. I'm gonna say this though, uh, while you're still looking, Matt, let me know if you find it. Uh. I found it. Okay. Put it. Do you want me to put it in Discord or on the Twitch? Uh, either or is fine. Oh yeah, if you put it on the on the chat bar, uh, yeah, let people know about the what name. it is. Yeah, the name of the link. So what's in here? You so oh, he's so hyperactive in his commercials, though. I guess that would explain, you know, the crack usage. Uh, well, we'll see. Okay. It's probably like a 10 second delay for me on the video. I'm a okay. More like 3 to 5 seconds now. Yeah, which is fine. Okay. At all, you have a piercing sword. Why didn't you just kill the ghost? Alright. Let's see, what's up here? That was a drop down. It's another drop down. Or, I can just jump up there. I have a <laughs> skill that allows me to jump up. Twenty monster horns. <sighs> We're definitely gonna need to look for some synthesis props. Uh, when all said and done here. That being said, at least it's nice I can go on this side. If there was anything on this side that I didn't forget. I guess I can afford to have another step back shot here. Heavy blast, that'll work. Yeah, everything here doesn't seem to be uh, weak against Slash, it's mostly just your hardened uh, seashell like creatures, along with uh, ghosts that tend to be shot by Pierce. I was just wondering, does you name tree only do stuff on sports? Wait, what? Does your name tree only do stuff on sports? Uh, he's... He used to be a video game reviewer, but his main forte is sports now, last I checked. Maybe you should do a request for him to review your stream here. I don't know. It would be, be pretty funny what he would do to make fun of you. <laughs> nah, I'm not well known enough to be given a lol cow video from him. <laughs> Besides, I'm dull. What material would he have on me anyway? Well, other than the fact that I follow four teams that, well, one of the, well, two of them have no defense. One of them doesn't know what the hell they want to be. And uh, the fourth one has no offense. Although, granted, I've been kind of proven wrong on that offense front, but, <laughs> well, uh... <sighs> Go Giants. Yeah, they do... It's like, yeah, Giants. Don't worry, it's not the, the New York Giants. Why would I ever follow them? <laughs> That's the Frisco Giants. Yeah. Well, they screwed up this time. Uh, the fact that it's Bruce Bochy's swan song and they're not really doing a good job at it because uh, either their their pitching is just terrible when it 
when it's desperation time, or their offense uh, just can't uh, be on base to save their lives. Let me guess, does Tree have a video on that? Uh, he hasn't done anything on the Swan Song of the Giants yet. He has done a video on how bipolar they are. Well, that's the thing about that's the thing about Bay Area sports. Either they're championship worthy or they're hot garbage with no room in between. It seems like he's just the kind of guy that has to find ways to mess with. Does he have something against Bobby Vanilla? Nah. He doesn't have anything in particular with them. The only reason I might see how is because uh, he's a fan of a team that's a division rival to the Mets. It was probably was a part of. Uh, no. Not that I'm aware of. Hello, what's this? And is there a door I should be? Was uh, it Bobby a Mets player though? Yes. Alright. Well yeah, if you're looking more into the details of Bobby Benia Day, then yeah, that's something you can research on your own. <laughs> but yeah, long story short, it, it was basically something to do with the Will Ponce, the owners of the Mets, uh, thinking they could get more money out of... Uh, Bernie made off, but then, <laughs> well, what happened with made off? Eh. Long story short, they were broke. I really need to make another blue jewel sometime. Eh, training ring two. You heard of the blue jewel? All right. So Aisha has a new skill. Good. So, at least, uh... It's probably gonna be really cost prohibitive. Is, uh, it's 70 SP out of the box to use. Uh, I really should be able to use Crucia a little bit more often. I don't know why I'm not using her. Yeah, I want the stones. Well, that's the fun part about getting an entire thing that's, uh... Hmm. I'm gonna need those stone shoes somewhere. Gonna raise that up. There's a lot of things about changing elevation in this dungeon. This should be the... Cataract Blue is such an amazing skill, but... Okay, maybe not the Blue Jewel. Let's, uh... Let's put the Crimson on this one. Alright, that'll help a lot. I think I have to make my way to uh, that entrance in the southeast. Okay, let's do this. Did I get the thing here? Yeah, that's where I got the albatross bow. Does this have a difficulty scene? Yes. Four. You got a easy, uh, normal, which is, this is on uh, hard and nightmare. 
basically just uh, last I checked the uh, enemy attack speed uh, and damage and resistance modifiers. Oh, uh, what was the last difficulty? Huh? What was the highest difficulty? Uh, Nightmare. It's basically just the no. fourth difficulty. Oh, Nightmare. Okay. Yeah, later installments in East uh, added the Inferno difficulty modifier, which uh, definitely made a bunch of cheap tricks and uh, other BS moves that you're going, how is this possible, or why would they do this? So, uh, I didn't beat Inferno difficulty in Oath and Felgana. Not the PC version, but on the PSP version, at least not all the way. And I probably wouldn't ever recommend doing a Inferno and Oath unless you're doing a, a New Game Plus, and even then you gotta do it from hard. Uh. You have to be on the hard first. Uh, you get New Game... Um, in Oath and Felgana, when you beat a particular difficulty, you get some extra points for a New Game Plus. And typically, if you want to get the most points available, that'll let you uh, keep stuff or keep your point multipliers or other things intact. Or at least, I don't know, to make your life easier, I'd recommend uh, doing a new game plus from hard mode. Because you get a lot more points. To, last I checked, you get, a, you get a lot more points doing it from hard. Ooh, a new shield. Top of a shield I already have. Ow. I really should start using some of the other characters. That was a lot of EP I got out of that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know there's... Who else do I have to perk up? Let's put an uh, addle on the greatsword duty. In case something. Oh yeah, antlion sorcery. Now, what did you do being kicked all the way back there? Ow. Might as well just put the training ring on him so... I still learn those skills a little bit faster. Usually I put like the blue or crimson jewels on my character so I'll cut down the SP usage by a lot and knowing how much EP I need to charge up uh, really racks up a lot. Either that or I could use dragon energy drops, so where's the fun in that? Definitely need if I need to learn her. New skill fast. Am I the only one here? Huh. Good. You guys are here too. Ow. <sighs> How dare you kick me all the way back down here? Cool. 
Tis a big sword. At least we want to deal with bedsheet ghosts on this one. You ever played Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? No, the only Paper Mario games I've played is the one for the SC4 and the one on the GameCube. Uh, Thousand Year Door was the GameCube installment. Yeah, it's been like 10 years since I played, so I don't really remember the name. Ah, crap, I fell off again. <sighs> Traction. Where, where's the iron boots when I need it? Or better yet, those anti-skid shoes that were in East too. Oh, those stone shoes, that's what they were called. I'll shamelessly admit I never beat either one, though. Uh, yeah, go beat them. Pa Paper Mario 64, I admit, was a very fun game. Yeah, unfortunately, I borrowed it from a friend, and I think I have a song. I think it sells for like over 100 bucks or something. Ah. Uh, eh, I'll, I'll probably earn the cash too. Uh. Yeah, do you have a Wii U? Uh, dang it, I don't, but good thing there's Amazon. Yeah, because I know, um. Before the, the virtual console store for the Wii shut down a few months ago. Well, okay, four months ago. Yeah, Paper Mario 64 was definitely there. I'm not sure if it's on the Wii U virtual console, but I'd hazard a guess it is. Feel free to correct me on that. That being said, Paper Mario 64 was a great game. Yeah, from what I played, it looked like a fun RPG. Mm -hmm. from, from the areas I played. Yeah. But, yeah, t Thousand Year Door on the GameCube, that was a really good one. Don't spoil the ending, please. Don't worry, I won't, but, yeah, definitely, uh, I give that a try. I would absolutely give, uh, both those games a whole way through try. How far did you get on it, either game? Just curious. Um... It's been like eight years since I played the N64 one. I would say maybe a third of the way through, maybe. All right. Uh, you don't have any idea what chapter number uh, you were on. As far as I can remember, is when you're in that rock valley place. Uh, did it look like a desert or? Yeah, I think so. Was there a vulture in there asking for Mario? Don't murder the vulture, I probably didn't get to that, that part. Okay, uh... Of the stage. Who did you have up to that point? You had Goombario and you had, uh... What was... What was your Koopa friend? Was it... It wasn't Koops. Cooper? And, uh... You, you, yeah, def they, you definitely cleared the bob -omb Fortress, right? You probably should have had bomb that by that point. Uh, to be honest, it was kind of a... Joey and I kind of traded playing the game, so we kind of progressed a little bit through that. Alright. Sorry, I dare not speak that name. <laughs> well. Uh, well, I don't have to worry about that right now. What I have to worry about is crossing this bloody ice bridge. He actually left my server, so he's not really calling me Yeah. Okay, there we are. There's... There are the red shoes, but... Uh... Hmm. Thank you. Cool. Now I don't have to worry about skidding on these anymore. I'm surprised there's no cutscene about this. Because every other red chest item where you're bound to get something cool by default, uh, you're bound to have a conversation on it.
Am I hearing echoing from your end? Ooh, panic. Oh, yes. That's... Voice echoing, or what? Yeah, I thought I heard uh, the song echo on... I heard the music echoing on your speakers. Oh, it might be coming from my headphones or something. Alright, just just curious. Ah, uh, pentagram. The last, uh... Last skill. Oh, well, at least, uh... With the shoes now, I can at least uh, go up those, uh... Icy stairs. Back at the midpoint, but let's see what's up here. Ooh, Vitality Crown. I'm trying to remember, did Paper Mario require the expansion pack? Ah, uh, I played the Virtual Console version, so I honestly can't answer that for you. Let's see. List. So I got a bad habit of speaking out loud. That's fine. Thinking out loud. That's perfectly fine. All right, we're back at the midpoint, so we can go out those uh, icy stairs. Let's see. And yes, you need. Uh, oh, you were saying? Uh, I was gonna say apparently episode one racer needs it. Yeah, I was aware of that. I actually haven't played racer in a a year or two. Yeah, I'd be willing to do that because uh, I do have the PC version. But like I said, two problems stop me. One. It's just very finicky when it comes to using controllers, or the control mappings don't stick. I might have to go inside the .cfg files and see if I can change a thing or two about it. But, uh, I sent. The other problem is, uh, and I think this is pretty much the same thing with uh, every other Star Wars installment, I have to either put the music on very low or cut it down. Well, Lesta, you want us to... Ooh, I want to drown. Suffer the wrath of the Walt Disney Company saying, No, stop playing John Williams music! Uh, do you think Lucasfilm or slash Disney's been really bitchy about it since they bought the franchise? Uh... I think that's always been... That's always been a thing, right? Well... For Disney bought Lucasfilm. Well, the thing is, though, it's like I've heard uh, definitely ever since uh, Disney bought it out, you were probably right on the entire uh, rights issue. Because one thing I've definitely heard was uh, complaints that, uh, you know, the Super Star Wars trilogy on. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need a sword. That. I have three. That a lot of the music was muted. And everyone found out that this was just definitely like a post. Uh, Walt Disney buyout thing that happened. Oh, because these videos were posted before Disney bought the Star Wars IP. Yes. And the Disney threw it. Kindergarten demanded that it be removed. Or was it? Or wasn't it Fox that demanded that on the behest of Disney? Or well, what was it? In that. Some of it was done in on Fox's behalf. Well, especially. Uh, oh boy! And now that I think of it, oh boy! Now I'm starting to remember it. It was actually pretty hilarious. Uh, you've watched the first Predator, right? Yes. Oh, there was this one hilarious crossover. It was Ewoks versus Predator. It was one of the funniest things I've ever saw. And then Fox predictably had a fit and demanded the thing be torn down. It was hilarious, though. It's kind of a damn shame, though. All right, I, I want to see what else is here because there's definitely. A... And the videos are not monetized. No, they just uh, they just straight up tore them down. Fox just said, "No, this infringes on our on our copyrights. Tear the damn thing down."
Oh, uh, Synth, if you want to join the voice chat, I can definitely open up the line. Really? Had to be like, gosh. If I can turn more of the videos and I can look at it. Uh, Matt, your audio is breaking up. Yeah. Yeah, my internet connection can be really all over the place of VOIP. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, sorry, Sense. Well, good luck with that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, wh where were we? Oh, yeah, the Ewoks versus Predator uh, video. Yeah, and how... Oh, when was that video posted? I think it, I think it was like a, a year after the Google merger or something like that. But it was definitely like 2008 or 2009. No, it was during or, or or before when Disney had the Star Wars IP. This was far before when uh, Disney bought out Star Wars. When the the video got torn down or what? Yeah. Who was scared. okay? So I, even then, they were all, all kind of eh about it. Yeah. What did I get? Uh. Oh, a rare scale. Hmm. Let's put that on the toe why not? Or, wait. Oh, she can only wear the same. Uh, this stuff is out. Ow, that freaking hurt. I think I know what I must do. Thirty EP out of a, a sixty. Well, okay, an eighty SP attack. Oh right, I want to see what's up there. Phantom Menace PS1 game review? Uh, I have not. I think I gave you the link to it. We'll see about that uh, later, but yeah, you can just give that to me on personal or when we do a Nights Tomorrow. Um, yeah, feel free to post that. <laughs> ow, ow. It's kind of funny, actually. Did you have a PS1 growing up? No, I had a 2, but never a 1. Yeah, I just recently got one. It's the one where... the You know how the PS2... And the PS1 use the same... Uh, video audio cord? Yeah. Yeah, that's the version of the PS1 I have. Because there's one version where it just have the the audio video wires all individual which you individually just connected into the system this one it has the, the whole cord all in one with the video and audio hmm. yeah hang on I'm... and the only game I have only game I have is MechWord 2 that's it and my gosh I suck well then again this was could you, were you able to aim in Mag 2? Was it like just hold L1 and then just uh, look around to aim, or was it just like a fixed axis sort of thing? I had to use like the D pad, you know, the, the left 
the kind of the uh, gosh, I can't talk today. Um, yeah, it's just the up, down, left D pad on the left side of the controller, which I used to steer the mech, and then and I use top right to fire my weapons that I had to use. Uh, the X one X button I used to cycle through my weapons. It was just a big mess of the, the training missions, especially when you had to run on the gauntlet and the uh, the mech handling mission where you had to go through those go through that whole racetrack. Ah. Yeah, your audio kind of broke up there, but uh, otherwise I got the point. Mm -hmm. But overall, yeah, it, I'm a lot better at it with PC than PS1. I'll tell you that right now. But again, it was a PC game to begin with, so... It just didn't feel right to put on a console. Especially, like it, be especially before the advent of the dual stick uh, format. Well, I just got a PS1 Somewhere. There has got to be. Even if it was a non-licensed accessory, I still want to have one. Yeah, I think uh, nine years ago-ish, or at least this was before I I went into college. I think Rad and I we both tried to do a, a session of NetMac one-on-one -on -one with each other and uh, with controllers, and well, let's just say it was a little bit of a disaster. Hilarious, but kind of a disaster. What controller did you two use? I used a Logitech Dual Action. He used a Street Fighter uh, controller. He won. But the thing is, though, that he already had a... He didn't have to worry about a dual stick uh, problem, because, uh, well, on one hand, he had the stick to control the mech. The second, he had the mouse, too. I just had a, a dual stick controller to work with. And unfortunately, my... Worst failing, or at least the stupidest mistake I did for that was uh, setting one of the stick buttons to light amplification rather than numpad 5, which is center the turret of your mech. Center your torso? Yes. Let's see, can I. I'm trying to figure out what controller you used. Let me see if I can put some shit. A Street Fighter controller? Yeah, it's a. It should have a single stick and a, a single joystick, along with about five or six buttons on it, or at least a, however many buttons a, a usual controller has. I think it's a four axes, twelve buttons uh, was the norm back then. Isn't it one of those old arcade uh, joysticks? Yeah, yeah. The the old the old Sanwa style. At least that's what I believe they were called. Ow, oh, that freaking hurts. Uh, yeah. You have a condensed uh, link to that because yeah, I'm reading a whole lot of garbage on chat. Yeah. Uh, let me try something else. Please do. Ugh. Okay, uh. Now, can you manage the, the interval with when the messages leave on Twitch? Uh, I set it to three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, that'll do. <sighs> I am gonna need a dump truck of money.
Okay, I think I just learned my... <sighs> I think the point was just made quite vividly. <sighs> just don't fall into those holes, because I think I got everything from that room. I kind of need for depth. All right. Um. Hmm. Let's uh, do that for now. Hey, don't don't kill the baby sharks. <sighs> what have they done for me lately? Um, is there a way I can get up here? Oh, I have this. Ow. Uh, do you remember what mechs you and Rad used when you were doing that uh, game controller test? I believe we both used Storm Crows. <laughs> and you had to eat crow, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, an energy uh, orb. Everyone join in. Just have Is it, isn't he like a part of the old clan system or whatever? Uh... Probably. Anyway, I gotta switch uh, some out real quick. At this rate, we're gonna be level 50 in no time. I don't know what the cap is in this game, though, but I definitely know for a fact that, uh... I definitely want to be somewhere in the ballpark of level 60 for endgame. I mean, I have done it with a party average of 57, but uh, I ended up burning all of my recovery items in the process. Okay, who else is lagging behind? Alright, we're all even. By the way, how do you feel about the old Battlefront? Uh, I've only been through three missions in the... Okay, two missions in the first one, but so far I've been having a blast of it, and then... Well, I haven't done all of... Done a, a lot of two yet, I just went past the training mission, and... Uh, I must say, at the least, I am kind of impressed by it, but, uh... We'll see. Uh, the training mission where you're on Geonosis? Yes. Gotcha. I did not it's want to do that. It's a damn shame Revenge of Sith was never on PC. Mm. But I don't know if your PS2 emulator could run the game now. It probably won't. As in, it, it's technically capable. From what I heard, the emu is capable, but I just don't have the spec. To run Revenge? Yeah. I'm the guy that has to beat the game on every difficulty setting, though. To finally say, yeah, I officially beat the game. Speaking of which, I still gotta get back to LEGO Star Wars. I haven't touched the one on PS2 in, like, uh, eight months since September. Hmm. Oh, I learned Pentagram already. Uh. Alright, uh... 
Let's just try to cruise our way through this and... Oh, great. Ow. Okay, a new glove for Dogi. A Grand Slam Witch! I think we're almost close to the end, but uh, probably we'll uh, head to uh, save point before we do a little bit more. Anyway, while we're here, anyway, let's. Uh, besides, I still gotta grind up for the dragon, so. <sighs> this episode was bound to take three hours by default. You want me to do the. Ah! If you want me to do the Moon Dragon after this, uh, at least the Moon Sanctum. It's pretty short, but still, I can I do it. I think go for it. Okay. Why not? I have the whole night dedicated to this game anyway. Yeah, you kind of notice that I don't do double headers anymore. I think it's like ever since my wrists kind of felt funny doing it for uh, way too long, then having four-hour streams just piss me off in general. Uh, you kind of saw me shy away from uh, doing the 8, 10, 30 thing. You kind of understand, right? <laughs> this does not make any sense. How is the shark living outside of water? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a game. Do things need to make sense? Well, of course not. It's a fictional reality. You can do where you want. That creature kind of reminds me of those deep sea creatures I got in a eyewitness book as a kid. Mm. You ever read eyewitness books as a kid? I don't. I don't think I did. DK eyewitness. Uh, rings no bells. Sorry. Gotcha. Probably work our way up to level 50 and then, uh...
That's a lot of it. That's a lot of XP we'll get from that. All right. Okay. Let's see what we can synthesize at the store real quick and. with all this cool stuff we should be able to have some new skills. Doesn't look to be the case. Ooh. Eh. We'll see about that, but actually make a lot of things right now, but... Mmm. I think it's just gonna be the withered hardware that's gonna be killer. We have, we have more than enough sea stones. I mean, if I only need about 120 of them, I really won't be uh, being all itchy about it. Because if a chunk of the world dies, then the rest of the world will fall into the downward spiral. Uh, do I need to <laughs> explain anything more on that front? Mm This one. Now, I would definitely like that one. I thought I learned Meteor Smash. Maybe not. And this one. Cool. We have a whole bunch of new skills uh, at our disposal. Aerial charge. Deals very little damage. Why would I ever need to learn this skill? <sighs> what was the other one I had? A uh, burst. Alright. We are at 20 hours already. Man. We're at 220 at the top of the stream. So what do I need party-wise uh, for... Do remind me to get some healing items.
There's no enemies down here. Where, what are you guys aiming at? Ow. I just want to say, I just want to master this weapon. Wait, this is so low. How many times do I need to use this? Ten more times. Okay. I really should learn how to flashcard with this Shara. Oh no, more evil shirts. Dr. Evil. We try to get those evil sharks, but they've been endangered, so we can't get them. They look like demonically possessed sharks because of the red eyes. You may have a valid point. Or rather, you do. I'm just not really in the mood to acknowledge it. Be creative. her ultimate weapon, uh, that's what the last slot is for. Okay. I mean, as long as everyone's around level 49, level 50-ish, I won't have a problem. Then again, like I said, I'm probably just gonna be using a bunch of. Uh... Probably just be using a bunch of healing items per usual. as uh, ready as we'll ever be. Well, barring my lack of healing items, but yeah, point still stands. That looks level 50 already? Oh, right. I, <sighs> I forgot I gave him the thing that increases XP gain. But it's really nice that uh, you can have characters sitting on the sidelines, and they'll still get eh, about their fair share of XP. All right, let's uh, let's go back to town, get some healing items, and we'll uh, we'll keep going. are rough, but... Okay. Well... Oh. 
I stand corrected on being as ready as we'll ever be. We still need defense. Synthesize a Varl Incense from here. Ah. Uh, why did I ever use that one on Sias? Let's have that all be all 50 for the hell of it. Well then I better top off on the on the SP. Oh yeah, and heavy blast is not gonna work on the dragon. At least as far as I'm aware. Seriously, what is the point of having status effect uh, attacks if you know they're not going to work on bosses? I mean, they're pretty good for clearing out crowds, but still. Of a, I have a Crimson Jewel. I can afford to be a little bit uh, daring with these attacks. I think that blue. Hmm. Eh, Crimson it. Never be ready, but we'll be as ready as we'll ever be. We don't seem pretty deep. Oh well. Let's run the risk anyways.
Oh jeez. You're not being non You're not just being not helpful, you're being malignant. I mean, if you're not gonna help us, we might as well beat the crap out of you. We gotta play whack-a-mole with a dragon. <laughs> Come on, pop your head out. Please. Not gonna do that? Okay. Ow! Eat crystal. Now it's mad. Okay, now we get to play whack a mole or whack a dragon mole. Ow. Wow, even trying to Independence Day, your, your crest didn't help. Yeah, is it just me, or...? that now I can't even make a coherent thought anymore because uh, this dragon is just whacking me
Oh! Yeah, the one thing I kind of noticed is that uh, the other three dragons, uh, or at least two of them, uh, definitely the representing elder did bonus damage, or at least uh, the damage marker was yellow. I kind of don't get why it wasn't the case with Mishera, in case the wind dragon was just a big negative for her. I mean, every time I tried to do an attack with her, it just went, nope. This one, I'm just not seeing a reaction with Aisha. But, enough yapping for me. Yeah, dear dragon, I whack you now. Help us out. No, really. I had to put up with crap in the first hour, and now. I'd like some answers, please. Thank you. Now how does this help us? You have been no help of all. <sighs> At all. I can't even make a coherent thought. Fifteen before midnight here. We have no choice. What is she doing out?
I'm not gonna really talk to everyone, everyone right now. How much he was seeking out all the dialogue, I've been kind of beating that horse to death. Alright, what's our next course of action? Bragging doesn't help in this case, but still. Well, not just cryptic subtleties, just uh, about pretending that the world is boned and, I don't know, off their asses and do something. Anyway, let's see what's in that pillar. I didn't really have to use any healing items for that. What's going on here? Oops. Ready for one more boss fight before we end the night, Matt? Hmm? 
Ready to see the last dragon? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. There's no, but... That's a lot of defense. <sighs> I definitely would like that. Right. I declare bankruptcy! sell almost all of this. Make sure you master weapons you find from chests before you sell them, otherwise you're gonna go, oh crap, I just lost a skill. Learn that. 
Ooh, haven't learned that. skills to master and a dump truck of them too <sighs> probably I just save on some off-screen grinding session but uh, I can wait all right let's uh, tackle this real quick After this, we'll call it a night. <laughs> Let's do this. How many hours of sleep do you have to get? Uh, nowadays it's been around six to seven, but uh, well, six to eight hours. Yeah. All right. It is now past midnight Eastern, so let's get this over with. So all seven of you have to fight that thing. That's the way it's been for the last four dragons.
I'm spending 20 hours on this adventure <laughs> just trying to find answers. <sighs> Already past the 80% mark, so. A turning back. Alright. Oh god, it's summoned the Blood Moon! Well, <laughs> now, we're, now we know who we're not inviting to the Blood Moon Ball next season. <laughs> oh. Ah. Find that a little bit too late. Don't ever give me that sort of delayed reaction ever again. Block to save my lives. Ow.
And give me your stone. <sighs> and it better be the legitimate moonstone, not the bloody blood moonstone. Or just this once. The hell is that even supposed to mean? That's utterly fucking bleak. Jeez. You're really taking the saying hope as a double-edged sword to its absolute extreme. <sighs> what, what are the dragons just conceding to us? Are, are they just saying all is lost? I'm here to say all is lost.
It's Blake. for the line I'll kill you with my hopes and regrets I just didn't think that hope and regret would probably be mixed into the same essence It's more like uh, the dragons told us, you're going to have a stool smashed over your head and there is nothing you can do about it. Twist, it sounds pretty fucked up, it's more like it. done that at least five times already. Come on.
Help. <sighs> Death. We don't want any. <sighs> Death, go home. Yep. Yeah, run like the wind. Mom, it's wind. I only read it in books. <sighs> Is this from The Simpsons? Treehouse of Horror. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I've already committed about more than three hours on this, but, uh, definitely... Guessing, guessing you're exhausted. Yeah, after having doing one long dungeon and two bosses, <sighs> we'll tackle the Well of Souls next time. This is going to be a long... Next episode is going to be split into two parts, or if I can try to do this in one three or four hour time slot, I will. I will not be able to do the final boss at the end of this, because... <sighs> Are we still on for SWAT tour tomorrow? We will be doing nights tomorrow. I ah, dang it, I did the MMORPG, uh... uh that's... SWAT tours are... The MMORPG. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that I get that confused easily with Knights of the Old Republic. I don't know why though. Yes, because Knights of the Old Republic was the original, and then the Old Republic was uh, the MMO. Alright. Oh, boy, yeah, I am. Are they much of the MMO? Not really. So, yeah. Next Friday, we will tackle the Well of Souls. I'll try to do as much as I can, but odds are if I can't, it'll be split into two episodes. So, for the next two or three weeks, we will be doing Endgame. Between the second and third episode, I'm hoping that we can get the finale on the third week from now. <laughs> because, uh, I will be doing a lot of off-screen grinding between, uh, the second half of the well and, uh, Endgame. I mean, mm. I could probably run into it a little bit half-fast, but I kind of don't want to do that. Yeah, makes sense. Because, uh, well, I don't want to mention what the final boss is, but at the least I'll, very, I'll mention it's all hands on deck, so... It's not like those other RPGs where you can just half-ass it with three characters and <laughs> let that be your power. Nope, it's mm -hmm. legit all hands on deck. So, um, yeah. We'll try to tackle parts of Endgame next week. Matt, I'll see you and hopefully Synth on Nights tomorrow. And, I'll be there. And Priestess and the rest of you, thanks for coming by. See you guys next time. Stay sweet, stay sensational, don't be salty, and I have to hit the sack. Okay, man. Yep, you too. opening of this episode 16 year old me was definitely traumatized by what happened in that I'm not sure if uh, 10 years later I've even recovered from that but yeah usually an event in a game shouldn't weigh heavily on you but that did I mean yeah, there were definitely some telltale clues, but... Shit. Good night, everyone. See you guys next time.